catch and build, baby. We're out here with Perry Sickler and I cannot even tell you. I don't get excited about much unless the tires can run over a truck, but this thing right here is amazing. So Perry, could you tell us a little bit about what you got going on? Yeah, so what we got is a commercial extractor. You just drop it down on any wheelbarrow and she'll, she'll tear it up. We'll give you a little demonstration. We'll move 20 gallons of water and put it in that wheelbarrow in 10 seconds. All right, we got the clock going. Clock right, going, go. let's go. One. It will also, we can show them this, this is pretty remarkable. Now you know with your normal HVAC systems, you cannot suck up golf balls, you can't suck up rock. Unfortunately, we don't have concrete, but apparently it does that too. We'll give you a little bit of, a little bit of this. And we got golf balls. <laughs> Also, this thing sucks up mud and all kind of stuff, so without getting stuck in the filters and all that good stuff, so it's better than the shop bag. I'm gonna buy one, probably about five of them. We don't need to tell my project manager that though. We're here with the steel representative, Thomas. He's here to show us a bad boy to chop down some rebar, anything else that gets in your way. So I'll let him take this show. Yeah, okay. Guys, what we see here is the TS440. The TS440 is the world's first cutoff machine with a brake. So now you say a brake and a cutoff machine, how much sense does that make? Um, first of all, if we have a look at that guard, that's the standard maximum back position of the guard. With this unit, and to bring all the way back. <laughs> so, what does that help? It helps with undercuts, with cuts in confined space. Like, if you have a wall, if you want to cut all the way down, try to do, try to get that close with the standard cut of machine, right? So, how can we do that? Now we're losing protection from the guard. In order to maintain that protection, we have added a brake. So the brake is not cut in. This is the brake lever. You just fire up the engine, release the brake, and then the wheel will turn free. That's a secondary safety feature in the unit outside the guard, since the guard is not to slide back. Exactly. It kind of uh, replaces mm -hmm. the guard. The brake replaces the guard. Right. In order to enable those, those cuts and confined spaces. What else do we have? We have, of course, water attachments. For the dust control. Exactly. The ocean regulations is in everybody's mind. So we have a water attachment like, by the way, and on any other kind of machines we have in our range. Um, besides that, you're missing a lot kind of lever here tap we have an electronic water control so as soon as you release the throttle and go to idle um, the water flow stops if you accelerate again the water flows again so that comes in and maintains the yeah, water maintains the water flow exactly well we sell through the servicing steel dealer so um, I you actually can only can get it in a steel dealer <laughs> <laughs> whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas <laughs> Hey there guys, we're here at the Word of Concrete 2018. Of course, this is my co-host, Ricky. Yeah, we're excited to be out in the World of Concrete. We're actually with Cherie, who we're hoping to be able to partner up with to bring you more videos. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We just built Fuel, which is a construction media site for everything construction. We're talking to tradespeople. We're talking about labor updates. We're talking about tax reform. We're talking about changes in um, you know, workforce and how we can attract more people into one of the greatest industries in the world. But people don't really think about it that way anymore. And it's sad because legacies, you hand down a legacy in, in the trades. And that's so extremely important. And there's so much pride when you finish a project to be able to walk and walk on what you did. I mean, that's amazing, right? And how many people can do that today? 
Not as many. Well, the people that code Snapchat, what happens when Snapchat goes away? What are they going to say to their grandchildren? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I designed an app. I built that. I designed that. an app, yeah. right? Yeah. Whereas in this industry, you can say, I designed Millennial Tower. I, you know, worked on the bridge. I, and for generations, that is a source of pride. And I think that's really important. Yeah. Uh, Mortensen story, yeah. in Minnesota, they got featured on Sports Center. Amazing work that they've done. It's important because when people see that and they see how cool it is, now they're talking, they, they're improving labor recruitment because they're doing amazing projects that people are so proud of. And if you're in Minnesota, you want to work on that stadium, especially yeah. if you're a, a football fan or U of M fan. I mean, you can say, yeah, I did that. And yeah. it's going to help with recruiting overall. I think the more exposure that high schoolers or women or even minorities get to this industry, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. It's really going to help us. Guys, we just got done um, visiting the World of Concrete 2018 in Las Vegas. Uh, we had a fun time. We met a lot of people, a lot of different vendors, and uh, stay tuned. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff we saw. Next year, we hope to be back at the World of Concrete 2019. If you like what we have, subscribe to the Construction Channel. You can get us on Facebook or YouTube. Like I said, subscribe and watch and build. What all can you do with concrete? I can skim it. I can unskim it. I can seal it up. I can broom finish. I can try finish. I can smooth finish. What, what kind of finish?